was only the beginning. The rest of the tsunami continued silently southward, across 2,400 miles of open ocean, carrying with it the energy of the Earth's violent convulsion. In its path lay Hawaii, completely unaware, with no system of warnings, no sirens, and no preparation for what was already on its way. By the time dawn broke on April 1st, 1946, Hawaii was carrying on with ordinary life. Radio stations filled the air with uh, morning broadcasts, fishermen readied their boats, and school children made their way to class. There were no sirens, no bulletins, and no hint of the disaster rushing toward the islands. The journey of the tsunami from Alaska to Hawaii had taken just under five hours, but without a warning system, no one knew it was coming. At about 7 a.m., the first waves reached the Big Island's northeastern coast near Hilo. Witnesses later described how the ocean withdrew suddenly, exposing coral reefs and seafloor that were never seen dry. Moments later, the sea came roaring back, 